When the user uses a switching power supply, we say rated power of 1000 watt. To supply power to an EROB rotary actuator, we say rated power of 750 watt. The voltage errors still occur frequently. Why does this situation happen? This video will explain the reasons through a series of experiments. First, the test of powering on the EROB with an ordinary switching power supply. Step 1. Build a test platform. Prepare an EROB 110T with a rated motor power of 750 watt and a switching power supply with a rated power of 1000 watt. The load 87 newton meter we prepared is the rated load of EROB 110T. The rated output speed is 16.7 revolution per minute when operating. Step 2. Connect the switching power supply and power it on. Step 3. Connect to the PC and open the oscilloscope to observe. The signals are bus voltage, actual speed, motor current, and error code. The signal is error code, the condition is rising edge, and the value is zero. The time is 5 second, the interval is 5 millisecond per point, and the position is 80%. Step 4. Open the motion interface. Set the speed as the rated rotational speed. After conversion, the speed is 145,927 count per second. The time of acceleration and deceleration are both 1 second. After conversion, the acceleration and deceleration are both 145,927 count per second squared. Step 5. Click Start Sampling. Click Continue after checking the safety. The scenario shows the start up of the test, and the test stops with an error when descending. The oscilloscope starts to record. Set the oscilloscope to display separately. We can see that the bus voltage is over voltage tip pops up. Meanwhile, we can see from the voltage curve that when the load rises, the bus voltage drops slightly due to transmission loss, but is basically stable at 48 volt. Before the error is reported, the load is in the falling stage. The bus voltage continues to rise, and the current is negative. The motor output torque is resisting the gravity of load. At this time, the motor works in a state of dragging and generating electricity, so that the bus voltage is over voltage alarm is triggered. That is, there must be a loop in the circuit to handle the extra energy that results from dragging power generation. The most common method is to add a bleeder circuit through the voltage sensor with a controllable switch and a bleeder resistor. For example, connect the switch when the bus voltage exceeds 50 to volt. At this time, the current generated by the motor will flow through the resistor and be consumed. Disconnect the switch when the bus voltage is less than 51 volt, and the circuit returns to normal. E-power board developed by Zero Air is a circuit board with this function. Contact us or visit the official website for purchase. The power series power supply developed by Zero Air is a dedicated power supply, integrating an e-power board, a switching power supply, and an energy storage capacitor. It is recommended to use it. Second, the test of powering on the e rod with an e-power series power supply. Step 1. Click forward. We can see that the test can be operated continuously and without any error reports. Step 2. Manually click the oscilloscope in the falling stage to force the trigger. We can see that when the bus voltage exceeds 50 volt, it will drop to 49 volt automatically, and it will cycle through this process. The maximum bus voltage will not exceed 51 volt. If the user uses a battery to power the EROB rotary actuator, there is no need to consider the above problems. The bus voltage will not be too high because the current generated by the motor can directly charge the battery. Due to the power generation efficiency, the charging current is much smaller than the discharging current, so there is usually no need to worry about the problem of excessive charging current. That is all about the video.